this is Google Chrome and it's a web browser and there are so many of them and I want to make my own. I downloaded WebView 2, added a new form, added a new web view, set the default site address and wow I have a web browser. But it kind of sucks because uh, I can't do anything and the web view doesn't resize. So let's make it resize. And now it's resizing using my code. But now I have to add the most important feature of any web browser. Tabs. Now new web browsers like Arc Browser use vertical tabs. And imagine using those. We go with the regular good old Google tab system. And for that, I'm using the Easy Tabs Nugget package, giving me a Google Style Tab system. So I downloaded that, and with some code, I got working. Kinda. Introducing NPC Browser. Yeah, after that, I quickly made a logo for the browser, and I fixed the tab icon on text. Now, let's slow down a bit and add the bar that each web browser has. This one right here, yeah. On it, you can find the go back, go forward, home, downloads, more buttons, as well as the search bar. Let's get started. I'll go ahead and add all the icons for the buttons to a panel. After that, I can quickly implement going back, going forward, and going to the home page. Then, I can make the text box work by adding a check for when the enter key is pressed. Then I can just search that phrase using the navigate string function. With this shortcut, you can see that I have an if statement that checks is this a search or a URL and then searches based on that using the navigate function. Let's search something and you can see it shows up on DuckDuckGo because no, I will not use Google. Let's search Donald Trump. Ah, uh, yeah, working fine. Then I fixed special characters not working, like the sharp sign. Was a quick fix, which I found on the Microsoft article linked in the description. After that, I got the tab titles working using this line of code, which I call when the source of the web view changes. Next, I want to create a home page for my browser, but how will I display it in a tab? As my tab is a form with a web view, should I hide the web view and show my homepage UI? Well, luckily for me, the web view element supports viewing HTML files, not only URLs. Thank you, Microsoft. So I got started with writing some HTML, and now I have this. I mean, yeah, it's very simple, but it's fine for what I'm doing. Now, you might have noticed something suspicious. When I go to my home page, the address bar says NPC home instead of the usual HTTPS. That's not a real website. That's my system because I made my own custom URL scheme. It's just like HTTPS before my browser subpages. So normally browsers use HTTPS to load secure websites from the internet basically tells you your connection is encrypted and protected from hackers and bad actors. And I wanted to make something similar when I load my local HTML pages, just without the security part. Basically, when you type something like NPC home, I intercept the requesting code, check if it starts with my NPC address, and if it does, I load a local HTML file of the corresponding name instead of displaying online content. It's useless, but took 10 minutes to make, so why not have it? Speaking of useless things, I added another page with an NPC shrine. And this is how my browser looks right now. I still have to make the downloads button, settings menu, and fix some bugs. So I quickly got the downloads button to work. My code launches File Explorer navigates to the downloads folder. No, I will not make a custom display for the downloads inside of my browser. After that, it was time to create the settings menu. For it, I added a new form, and as my tab system uses forms for tabs, 
The settings will open as a new tab after clicking the three dots. For now, I will just have simple checkboxes with three different options. Dark mode, a fake incognito mode because a real one doesn't exist, and the option to use Google instead of DuckDuckGo. If you like giving away your data for free, I don't mind. Now, after adding the, the checkboxes, I just have to make them resize with the form using the anchor and dock settings. Finally, I just increase the margins to better separate the checkboxes and just center the text on the form. Here is how the settings menu looks like. Implementing the Google option was very simple, just an if statement and setting google.com as the URL. The dark mode was just a function that checks the theme from the settings and then changes the UI color based on that. Pretty standard stuff. And incognito mode, well, just does nothing. Now I just have to fix some bugs, so let's draw a little time lapse. Coding a browser can seem overwhelming, just like learning how to code. But luckily, this video sponsor Brilliant.org makes that super easy. With Brilliant, you get an interactive learning platform with thousands of lessons in math, programming, data analysis and AI. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with concepts. Brilliant helps build critical thinking skills through problem solving and not memorizing. I've been using Brilliant for about 10 minutes a day. I've been learning a bunch of new concepts that I hadn't come across before and I really like learning by doing. Brilliant's newly updated programming courses are a great way to build a foundation in coding and learn to think like a programmer. If you sign up with my link available in the description, you get a free 30-day trial of Brilliant and 20% off their premium subscription. Well, here is the browser. I have my homepage, a URL bar and all my buttons with the basic functionality of a browser. Here I have settings with dark mode, an incognito mode and a Google instead of DuckDuckGo option. This is a pretty simple browser but it is totally usable. And if I added bookmarks, a password manager and a couple of quality of life features like reopen last tabs and launch. This would be a browser like any other that you and I could perfectly use. So yeah, that's how you make a web browser in four days in C Sharp. Thanks for watching. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video and check out the video on my face right now. You'll enjoy it.